Hi everyone, I am EVA Young Afude, Miss International Nigeria 2016 and Nigeria's official representative at the Miss International Pageant 2016 in Japan. Welcome to Nigeria's number one pageant TV talk show, After the Crown. On the show, you will get to know more about what it takes to win a crown because I will be bringing you unfiltered stories and exclusive access into the lives of your favorite beauty queens and kings. So, stay tuned. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of After the Crown. I hope you enjoyed and watched the first one <laughs> because today we're gonna blow your mind uh, we have Ricardo here on the show, you know, one of Nigeria's biggest designer and also a very fantastic um, beauty queen in the pageant industry. Welcome Ricardo. How are thank you today? You. Very well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for honoring my invitation. I was oh. very ecstatic when she, you know, said she was going to come. So thank you for coming. My pleasure. Okay, <laughs> let's start. Tell us about your pageant journey. Okay, um, my pageant journey started in 2000. No, 2006. Six, 2006. Right We're so used to this. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, in 2006. No, I that. Okay. that was a long time. I reached Place of Abuja. Uh, then, yeah, Place of Abuja was the one in town. Big. Yeah, exactly. So I did that and I was the second runner up. Then I did some pageant that didn't end up lasting after <laughs> afterwards, but I was also second runner up in the prettiest girl in, in Nigeria beauty pageant. Apart from that, I did also Miss Valentine, where I won in 2007. Yeah, then I did um, Miss Nigeria twice. What? Yeah, Miss Nigeria, I did Miss Nigeria twice um, in 2010 and in 2015. Wow. Yes. Then I bought form for MBGN. Made it, they called me to come to camp, but I didn't just make it. But why? Ah, uh, you know, I'm from the north. My dad wasn't comfortable with me wearing swimsuit and all of that. Oh, okay. Yes. So okay. So, like you just said, you were Miss Valentine 2007, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Environment 2008. Mm -hmm. I read somewhere where they said that you bagged the title of Miss Environment okay. um, through an advocacy that you had done with other beauty queens. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sure. how did that come about? Okay, um, I went, during my reign as Miss Valentine Nigeria, I got to meet um, the first ever CCO here of Nigeria, of Lagos, yes. and Dan Lola, that's her name. Yeah. So we got to do a project about HIV AIDS, and um, we got to meet the Lagos State Governor. Then was uh, Babatunde Raj Hashala. Yes, yeah, so um, him with the, MD of Loma then decided that okay, since I have this project that has to do with environment, yes. I should just be Miss Environment. Oh, and <laughs> right there, I was given that title and some benefits that, that was attached to it. I wish, like, you know, governors would acknowledge people like this and even make it like a big thing, you know. They do during our days, it's just yeah. these days, but I don't, I don't even know how to put it. It's just like beauty queens are not as respected as it used to be. I wish it's gonna be like during my time. It, you I see, I, I saw, I saw um, <laughs> um, also that you did like was it Delta Soap. Mm -hmm. like, yes, I did the, Delta yeah. Soap. Yeah, and I know at that time, like a lot of girls would be like, "Oh my god, I want to be like Ricardo because it's a big thing." Oh yeah, it was a big deal. Oh my god, the screening—you have to go through a lot of yes. different photo shoots before you're selected. It was fun along the I way mean, as well. Of course. <laughs> so in 2013, mm -hmm. you contested for Miss Nigeria. How did that go? Well, in 2013, I just wanted to do like a close up of my pageant. Mm, pageant here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. That's like a sign off. <laughs> exactly. So I decided to try Miss Nigeria. Miss Nigeria was like the only pageant I wanted to do at that, at that time. time. Yes, so yeah, I made it to come. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is actually very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I recently saw a video clip of your time at the Miss Nigerian camp mm -hmm. where you were being interviewed by um, Nikkei Oshinawa. Yes. And I was shocked. And I'm sure a lot of people who saw that video clip were also shocked as well. Um, if you haven't seen the video, just, you know, just take a look at this. You're a student of University of Lagos. What are you studying? I'm studying English language. You're studying English language? Yes. Okay. 
And how long have you been doing that for? Um, I have two more years to go. I'm in 300. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what do you do when you're not a student? Um, I design and I'm into fashion, so I do things, little things to make ends. So how do you do your fashion bit and when you say make ends meet? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, what I do is I design professionally mm -hmm. and sell my designs out mm -hmm. to people. Yeah. Okay. Yes, your life seems a little bit too crowded. I don't think you have enough room for us in your life. Yes? I don't even, I don't even know why you want anything else in your life. You seem to have a perfect little life as it is. Perfect for you with your designs and your store. You know, and, 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 then, and then you're going to school in the evenings, which is good. You're a bit of an entrepreneur. It's wonderful. Um, I'm not sure that you're what we're looking for. I really am not. Um, you're beautiful, though. You've got these gorgeous dimples. And you've got the perfect lips. And you've got this perfect nose. Thank you. But you're... Everything else is just very clouded and very crowded and almost unbelievable. I have to drag the information out of you, you know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that you don't have things that you're hiding from me. So I'm going to let you go. Okay? Okay. So what was going through your head um, and what were you feeling in that moment when she said you couldn't go through and did you think something had happened prior to that that influenced her decision? Uh, not exactly, but I suspected too. I was like, maybe she had something about me, who knows, I don't know. But yeah, but then, um, yeah, I thought that, but then I also felt like it was a shock at that time. It was a shock because I've done other pageants mm -hmm. and I wasn't just eliminated at just that level, that. just like that. So it was just like a joke. It was like, okay, it's a prank and later I'll be called back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was real and it was just a shocker. And yeah, that was it. That was it. Did you feel like, why was this happening? Like what do I say to her? Like, do you want to say something at that time? You know, just being pissed or whatever. Like, what would have been your reaction? I wasn't really pissed. Your reaction. Well, I wasn't really pissed, but I just felt like I, I wish there was enough time or there was enough room or I wouldn't be addressed as being rude if I really express myself or how I feel at that time. That was what I wanted to ask. Exactly. Like, what would have been your reaction if you were not that calm? Like, would you have been like, oh my God, I'm why? I'm actually that calm. <laughs> That I mean, you are. But I would love a situation where I'm able to express myself further because then in pageant freedom my days, you can't really say much. You be, you'll be looked at as being rude or you're not decent. How can you be talking back as someone asking a question and calm? You don't do that. You know, stuff like that. So it's not if like you now see her, that... If you see her right now. We've met before. Did you bring up the on conversation? On a flight going to Abuja. On a business class. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring up the conversation? Did and you... funnily enough, we're going to the same place. The same place. So it was like, oh, you're going to see this person and I'm going to see this person. And we still met in the same office. So it was like, okay. Life. But I really didn't say anything because there was no need to say anything really at that time. In my honest opinion, I think I would have said something. Really? Like, oh, man. oh, yeah. One of my colleagues <laughs> we met her and she got to say a lot of things that she wanted to say. But I felt that there was, there's really no need. There's really no need to say anything. Truly, like she said, I wasn't what they're looking for. So maybe truly I wasn't what they were looking for. You didn't for. think a choice of words were wrong? Yes. Yes. So um, at that time, pageant is like, um, they want people who are like really um, not out there. And for me, I was already out there as a model. I was already popular. There were already stories about me. So people already knew my stories, lifestyle. Stories like what? Oh, she has FX45. Ah, she's young and rich. Oh, she has this store. Oh, she's this, she's that. Wow. You know, that kind of stuff. 
So for pardons at that time, it's like, no, we don't want that. She will be rude. She won't listen to the organizers. Oh, so she, won't so do this, won't she do that. already had. Okay, now we're coming. So to, that impression. Yes, mm. we're coming to the fact that she had already heard something. Maybe, yes. Or maybe she had heard something that influenced Because someone actually came to the camp, decision. then knew me before then. But it's actually my friend. She was a beauty queen too. So apparently, maybe she must have told her, oh, she has all these things. I don't even know what she's looking for in this camp. You know, stuff like that. And she felt like, okay, no, maybe we don't really need this kind of person. She, I don't know. If, okay. If you were not, um in camp mm -hmm. maybe another girl was mm -hmm. in your position mm -hmm. and you were like just by the side and you had seen Nike interviewed a girl and um talked to her like that what would you have done i think i would just call her attention like i think there's a, there are better ways to eliminate girls in pageants such as asking them questions and if they fail to answer correctly then you know you eliminate you use that or maybe give them a task you know, and do. exactly that way, you know, who is good for you and who is not yes, really. Yes. And at the end of the day, girls are going to go on stage. They perform. You can find a way to do it in a polite manner, not just like, you know what we're looking for. So you're not good enough. Go home, you know? Nah, I, I totally understand that. Because I asked that question um, to just see mm -hmm. if... If reverse was the case, would you stand up for this girl? I saw your comment on the post, actually. Oh, really? Where you were like, now that I know my way around the pageant industry, <laughs> I'm not going to let any of my girl go through this. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yes, that's Miriam for you. So well done. I think you actually did pretty well for yourself. And that is a big, big plus. And congrats, Thank you. congrats, Thank you. congrats once again. In my own opinion, I felt like she was a choice of words mm -hmm. where wrong just absolutely wrong like she could have used better words to just True. say you know what i mean maybe this is you're not what we're looking for this year maybe this try year. next year mm. you know it's not just uh like year two there's a word you use i don't want to use it <laughs> but anyways we'll get back to that <laughs> okay so what would you say is your biggest um you know, achievement and challenges that you faced so far? Um, my biggest achievement will be that um, I actually, one of the girls that I had really leveraged on pageants to create a niche for myself and to create a sustainable lifestyle. Sure. I don't see myself depending on anybody, no man, nobody. <laughs> but I've all got this platform through pageant free and modeling yeah. at the end of the day. So and that's a big plus for me and that's something i'm really proud of of course anytime any yes. day so, <laughs> if you were given a chance if you had like pull through that phase mm -hmm. uh what do you think you would have done with the miss nigerian title and if you had eventually won mm -hmm. what would you have done with the title okay uh i can remember clearly my plans then were i wanted to go into politics ah I wanted to go into politics. really yes so i needed um something that will capture the attention of people from my area mm -hmm. most especially um, because very few girls or women really come out for well, uh, things like that from my side i'm from heavy state <laughs> i'm Hausa, Hausa girl <laughs> so i wanted to do that then apart from that also i wanted to start up my business professionally which is the recalto brand mm -hmm. and yeah pick it up and maybe meet new people yeah sure i mean uh, that's what pageantry <laughs> does you yes. meet new people that you've never thought or would never think that you would meet. I mean, you've worked with a lot of queens and I'm going to ask this question. And please don't be biased. Okay. And please, I want you to actually state a name. Okay, a name. So, yes. So who is the most pleasant and well-mannered queen you've worked with? Oh my god, that's the <laughs> that you must give a name. You must give a name. And I mean she's not trying to be, you know, biased or whatever, or trying to play. But that, to be honest, same. that question is gonna be very difficult for no, me to answer. Just because I, I get to deal with a lot of beauty queens and 
So I mean, this person off, is nice. Tomorrow, this person no, is no, not no, nice. No, tomorrow, no. this person is acting. Tomorrow, this person is displaying. So I can't really tell who. Oh my god! <laughs> who is the most decent? Really? Yeah, but that's the truth. Really? Yeah, wow. it's gonna be very difficult for me to to say or to answer that question. Yeah. Okay. From what you yeah, just but, said, you said today they're nice more they're not nice. Mm -hmm. You know, the next day yeah, they're active. Beauty things have mood swings. And <laughs> During my set, it wasn't like that. If you have mood swings, you keep it at home. You don't show it. <laughs> You have to act as queen as papa. Okay, I'm sorry. You have to be polite to everyone. You have to smile all the time. You have to be kind to everyone. Now, beauty queen say, hey, what is going on? I'm not there. Okay. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I start wondering, hey, queen, you have your, you have your crown on. Exactly. Oh, wait, I do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like that, really. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. So I really cannot. But say. so you can't you can't actually point like a queen who has been the same all through the time that you've known her, like to act like mm. the same. Oh, to act the same. To act the same. Oh. oh wow. So y'all are I'm always switching. Is that? <laughs> and they always switch you because I don't get it. No, they they ought to be like one. Oh. It's difficult to say really because wow. I can't really figure out who mm. exactly. But okay. one of the people I enjoyed working with was Mengi during the uh, MBG. Yes, and nice. afterwards she was really quite calm, quite calm, quiet. Everything goes okay. I'm fine with your decision. Aww. Okay, I'm good with this. Okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> so unlike other people, and not like other queens are bad really. No, because so, that's why like, I said really, the most. Because I mean, a lot of them are pleasant mm -hmm. um but you know there ought to be like one person who you just look at and be like oh yeah she's always like you know this nice or this respectful or this hey. all the queens that know me we so jealous so i can't mention me really. no, but this, this one. <laughs> I'm not, we're not saying that <laughs> you all are not you know pleasant or well-mannered we're just saying that there's ought to be like one person that is hierarchy how will I put I hierarchy on that? Okay. <laughs> Since you did not answer that one, you would answer this. Okay. Opposite Hopefully. of that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who is the most oh my God. pleasant? <laughs> oh my God. Since you didn't tell <laughs> us who the most pleasant is, please. Do you, you want to take me off business? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, it's not you impressive want to go saying oh, that I say oh she's god. rude or she's not pleasant. Like, oh my goodness. We can't talk. You want to stop me from my job, from doing my job. Huh? Okay. Hello. Okay. Let that question just go. I will just let it pass because obviously she's into the fashion business, so I wouldn't want anything to happen to your business, obviously. So what is your advice to like queens that are out there? You know, there are some mm. of them that <laughs> they go through a lot mm, true like they go through a lot either from you know walks of life or you know them just being a queen and they feel like they need to do more oh. but they can't um mm. what's your advice to this queen um well i would say that being a beauty queen is a privilege really because you get to confess with so many people and they don't get to emerge winner so if you're given the opportunity to be the winner, the center of attraction for mm -hmm. that year, I think it's just best to make good use of the opportunity. It comes with a lot of challenges. You might not get sponsors for projects. Yeah. You have to try and look good. Yes. Now that is Instagram, you need Instagram like, comments, followers. Ah, almost the challenge is just it's, it's a lot. so much. <laughs> you need to look good, do photo shoots and all of that. And you need sponsors for all of that. So it's really not easy for them, but it's always good to keep pushing. Don't give up on yourself. You are the first believer of yourself. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I feel like I'm sure what... there must be something the organizers saw in you that, yes. that gave you the crown. So don't just say, okay, the organizers are not there for me. They are not calling me. They are not organizing meetings for me. So because of that, I'll just hold my legs and wait. No, time waits for no one. Exactly. You have to work on something. You have to keep pushing. You have to believe in yourself. You have to do something for yourself. Because if you don't, nobody yeah, will. Exactly. And you have to leave a legacy at the end of the day so that people can say, oh, she was this and she did this during her reign. At least you have something to say, something yeah. to talk about, something to tell your children as well. So, you know, that's always exactly. the, the happy moments. Like, it's always oh easy. Like Nothing is easy. You know? Nothing comes easy. Yeah, even the people who went into Big Brother house, when they come out, 
it's even more challenging mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. they're out they there keep that. Up. Exactly, you have to keep up. So don't give up on yourself. Work on something. Do something. Keep pushing. You heard that? Mm -hmm. I think I think Miriam is the perfect person to actually tell you guys this and you will listen because she me, I she's, a, she's a exactly. miss environment. Hello, <laughs> and you so, now went to a pageant that you felt exactly, like and they were like kind of a better name, and you're sitting there saying, "Oh, no one is pushing I'm me." I tried so hard to not use the word. Oh my uh, god, Nike used like. <laughs> but I'm so sorry. Can I can't them. help it. You How can she say your them. life is crowded? Like. Please, I want I, my life I to love, be crowded with positivity. I love positivity my crowded life and because good, I'm not a lazy exactly. person. I'm not a lazy person. I mean, person. it is only If you give people, me an inch, I will push and push and make it True. Enough. You know, don't just give up. Yes. Don't just give up. Please, let them tell I'm you sure your life my, is crowded. Yeah, I, at this point, I feel like all my friends that are doing well, I'm going to tell them your life is crowded and I love it. You know, keep on pushing. Huh. Do it. <laughs> I'm sure my friends then, my friends then were saying that if only Nikki knew what you're going to use this crown to do, they should have given you this crown. I said she doesn't know, don't worry, but let me keep working on myself to get to where I want to be. There was a That's comment the I saw. Important. Um, um, Uncle Sammy, you commented on that post and you know he was saying, Oh, that's my friend, I'm happy mm. she did this, I'm happy she did that. And you went on to say, Oh, they contacted you mm -hmm. um, years later, if I'm not yes. mistaken, to sponsor the show. Mm -hmm. Was that true? Yeah, very true. Yeah, okay. I've sponsored the Miss Nigeria pageant now for oh, three you, years. Oh, you, you even did? Yeah, I did for I think three years. Three years now. Yeah. This is um, why you should never I, talk I love about it. anyone. And I love it because each time I get to camp, I get to see these girls. I say, oh, this looks like me. This looks like <laughs> Kenny that was in the camp. This looks like that person. You know, it yes. brings back the memory. Yes. You know, when you yes. love pageant, it's always that thing is uh, always yeah. there. Tell me about it. So I'll keep remembering, oh, this is how it works. This is how it works. Yeah, and this is how I was feeling. Exactly. And answer. sometimes I will be tempted to advise, don't do this, do this like that, do this that way. You know, because I'm passionate about that thing. I And I love seeing people in the same environment that we all have passion for the same thing. So sponsoring Miss Nigeria was fun. It's still fun. I'm still going to work with them. Yes. So it's so fun. That's the spirit. And I love the brand. Mm -hmm. So but what that tells me, the day they called me, is like, oh my God. I have done so well for so myself. I have done so well for myself. That they're calling me, begging me to, to sponsor the show. Do I have what it takes to sponsor the show? Oh, they think I have what it takes. <laughs> okay, I'll show them my right house. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is not crowded now. My life now. is not crowded though. I have what it takes to sponsor. So it's 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 just fun. It's always good to keep pushing. As a beauty queen, don't give up on yourself. You have something inside of you. Bring it out. And I'm sure people want to see your potential, want to see what you can offer, what you're made of. Don't just say okay because, oh, I was in this camp, I didn't make it, or I was maybe second runner up or third runner up. Because of that, I'm gonna give up mm -hmm. and that's it. I no, was I was pushing. I was second runner up during my time. Exactly. I'm mean, now these days you exactly. get to see even the runner ups runner ups doing more oh, better than the main than winners. The queens. So it depends on who you are and who how you see yourself really. So I think Fantastic. So you've done pretty well for yourself as a beauty queen, ex beauty queen, and also a fashion mm -hmm. designer. Is there more? Like, should we be expecting more from you? Um, you know, in the nearest future. Well, I've just joined the oil and gas industry. Yeah, all your money. Exactly. <laughs> so that is giving me so much money. Okay. And I'm loving it. Yeah. Though I'm new, so but I'm loving it. That's so the far. spirit. Like, I feel like I need to come and talk to you. You know, give me business advice because she she is it. You you yeah. I mean, nah. I am so proud of you. Yeah. You know, you, at the end of the day. So well. That's the main reason why we went into pageant. Yes. We want to create yes. that platform for yes. ourselves. We want to better our lives mm -hmm. and better the lives of other people. And people around so, us. So, and if we keep pushing, we'll end up doing that. I'm still pushing. I'm, I'm not giving up. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much thank for you. answering these questions. Anyways, we're going to be moving on to our, my favorite segment of the show, which okay. is the game segment. This is where, you know, me and my guests, we get to battle it out. So, let's get So, we have a list of games inside this jar, and you have to pick two. So, whichever games you picked 
we will play. Okay, okay let's go. Uh, okay. Let's see. I hope it's the one I'm very good at. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's the stack of game. Damn. I don't know if I'm good at this, but I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be the winner. Should already. we give like a, a? I'm scared actually, so yeah. let me just get a hope from you. <laughs> so the game is set, and all we have to do is stack up this top in one row with the hands we're not used to. I'm right handed, so I'll be using my left hand, and I'm sure Ricardo is right handed Same. as well. So she's gonna be using her left hand as well. Ooh, this is a game. Left and hand. Top. Are you really good at using your left hand? At all, I'm not. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so I mean, that makes it more competitive. So let's start. I need to take a deep breath. Anyways, that was a good one, and I won. Yes, I mean, you know, champion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, she's about to pick the next game. Uh, let's see. Let's see the next one. The next one. Oof. Uh, uh, uh. Please, Lord, let it be a game I can play. The balloon game. My favorite, by the way. Okay, I'm used to I'm used to playing this one. Oh, I'm sure okay. you can do well, don't worry. Okay. You do well. And the show is almost coming to an end. So this is where I get to recrown our past queen. Oh, me? Really? Yes, I get oh, to do that. It's half count again. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. How long, how long ago was it? Oh my God, 2007. Oh, okay, so the pleasure is all mine to be doing this, you know, recrowning you. Uh, so when I put the crown on your head, you okay. just have to say, I'll say once a queen, you just have to say, always a queen okay does that make okay. sense oh of course okay <laughs> let's do this so i'm crowning you because mm -hmm. once a queen always a queen yes give Hello. that away <laughs> oh you look so pretty Thank i feel you. like all my queens on the show always look pretty when i recrown them <laughs> we should do another project again <laughs> we should do that right but i that need to lose weight this time <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you look so no, we need a picture. We need a picture of this. This is we, so fun. I'm blushing. Oh okay, we'll do that afterwards. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching and the show has come to an end. Um please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment below, you know, and follow, follow. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.